Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sito and you're watching Sito MD. In today's video, I'm going to do a bit of a sewing tutorial. It's more like an upcycle and this is quite interesting. An upcycle of a pair of pants that I have. It's a bit loose. It doesn't quite fit me the right way I want it to fit. And also, uh, it's not really the style that I like. So I'm going to modify it to look something that I saw in Seed recently. I really like because there's a lot of um, patch patchworking trending right now, like in terms of jeans and a lot of um, other materials as well, where they sort of make it feel like we made this clothing ourselves so i like that feel so i'm gonna try and do that with this pair pen we'll go through the process together so i hope you like this video and if you do like this video subscribe down below hit the bell notification button so you get notified every time i post a video i post a video once a week hit the like button and otherwise let's get started with the tutorial so this is the pair of pants that I have. I don't really like its style. I don't wear it as often. It's mid waist, maybe that's why. And the cut and the feel is just not me. And um, so that's the back. And as you can see, I've already started taking off some of the seam here. Like I've already started ripping the seam. So basically you want to start in the inseam and remove the seam all the way till the crotch and then back down the other way. And then when you reach the crotch area, you want to make sure that you remove enough seam in that crotch area till the crotch kind of like sits flat like um you know like exactly like kind of how i'm placing it now it has to sit flat so that it will sit nicely and then you kind of want to repeat the same thing at the back just keep ripping off the seam until both the flaps kind of like can sit nicely flat on top of one another and before you remove the side seams, make sure you know where your hem has to be. So you kind of just remove the uh, side seams until your hem or where you've put a marker on. And these are the things that you will need. Some pins, a scissors, a seam ripper and a marker. First off, mark, take off the pin where you pinned it and mark it with a fabric marker or a fabric pen or chalk or whatever it is that you have. And start seam ripping it from the end now when you seam ripping there is an easy method so first just remove like the first couple of stitches and then after that use the ball point end of the seam ripper and put that behind the seam or wherever the um yeah the seam is and then basically all you have to do is just glide the seam ripper and the seam ripper will just glide through really easily if your seam ripper doesn't glide through easily you probably it's probably time to get a new seam ripper but this only works like on the outside seam looking back at my inspo the bottom had this um on the bottom hem it had like this extra panel of fabric so i'm actually just measuring out that extra panel of fabric and then make sure you leave extra seam allowance so my seam allowance is about three eighths of an inch and that's what i'm leaving and here you can see me seam ripping the inner stitch like because there's two stitches on the side seam so there's an inner stitch and basically with the inner stitch you kind of have to use scissors just cut off the um like the hemming that they put on the inside which they actually use a serger for and then you need to use your seam ripper and don't rip all the way because you might tear your pants and i'll show you at some point in, during this tutorial that i actually did rip my pants a tiny bit but you don't want to do that you want to go really slowly with your seam ripper when you reach like when you're tugging at it and you can't pull any longer it's safer to use a seam ripper to cut um, those threads and now fold the pants together like with the seams matching on the top where the waist is and then go back down to where you've put the mark on the other side mark it on the other leg and do the same thing where you're ripping the seam all the way up till the mark where you've um, the side seam where you've marked it and as you can see this is the part that i kind of like ripped off my pants just a tiny bit but i guess it's okay i didn't really lose out on a lot because like if you rip your pants you're basically losing seam allowance right so that's basically it next you want to take your time to flat flatten the pants out as much as possible so that it sits kind of um, naturally and it's not puckering anywhere and then mark out your hem where you wanted the hem to be so Keep in mind that you'll be adding to this hem, but it's always better to go longer and then shorter because like at the end of this tutorial, while I really like my skirt, I was kind of like mm, I'm wondering what would it look like if I had kept it a bit longer, you know? Once you're happy with the length, be confident, go ahead and cut that apart. Use really sharp scissors. And remember, you always measure twice and cut once. So while I, before, just before I cut, like in the split second, I realized, hang on, I didn't mark at the right uh, point. 
to my other leg. So here I'm correcting the mark, drawing another straight line and then cutting it because you always measure twice and then cut once. And then use the same on the other side, just flip it over and cut on the other side. I'm just cutting the top of the pants because I don't want to cut both the bottom and the top together because it, it might be it might get like a bit wonky and then I turn the pants on the other side, get it flat again, make sure I'm happy with it, draw the line and then snip it, repeat the same thing. And now that you have something that looks like this, sort of like a skirt with lots of slit, you need to put it on to see whether you're happy with it, happy with the length and stuff. So as I said, I'm going to add um, the hem at the bottom here. But if you kind of see the skirt is not really doing like this A-line shape. It's kind of kind of hugging my body from the back, you know, because cause it was a pants earlier before. And I kind of wanted to like flare out. So to do that, I kind of need to take out more from the side seams, like up till the point I mark until the point that I want and I'll have to do the same for the back as well. And you can see here like after ripping off the seams on the side you can see like the skirt now or the you know skirt is kind of laying more in an A shape. This is exactly the shape that I was going for so as you can see I will need to add like triangles on the side. So we start from the middle point first. You see like there's still like some puckering there so I'm going to remove like a couple of more seams there until I can get it to lay nice and flat and then I'm going to put a ruler in between the skirt so I can pin the uh, skirt properly together so that I can later go and stitch on it. I'm also kind of roughly drawing two lines here where my stitches will be because I'm going to do two lines stitching all over the place because my inspiration is actually denim although I'm not using denim but that's exactly the kind of look I'm going for and then making sure that when you're doing the flap so you need to make sure that your the pen leg that you're using is straight it's not on the you know it's not on the bias because when it's on the bias it becomes too stretchy so you want to make sure that the pen is straight so either cut it on the vertical or the horizontal and then lay it on top kind of have a feel where the um, triangle is where the opening is and then draw that opening make sure to leave seam allowance and then at the top of the triangle it's not basically a very sharp point at the top it should be a flat top so it's like a quadrangle more like than a triangle and then put it in and pin it in place and you're basically going to rinse and repeat these steps for all the other opening. For the side opening, once I've uh, once I pinned the side opening and I was like happy with the side opening on the one side where I had measured, I kind of just used that same side uh, seam to put it on the fabric and then cut out another one as you can see like I'm doing right here, right? Like there's no point to measure twice because both the side seams would have like the same opening. And now when I'm doing the back opening, I'll show you how I do a different type um, of, uh, so I kind of how I measure another triangle in a different uh, method. But first I want to straighten out the the line on the on the back because as you can see that it kind of curves, this, the back of the skirt kind of curves a bit and I you want to make sure that that's a straight line and it's not curved. So make sure you cut off the excess like using your ruler and measure and then I'm making like 3 8 of an inch 3 8 an inch of a seam allowance here on the back and then instead of putting my um, the extra layer on top of the skirt I'm putting it under the skirt and I'm going to measure it out this way just to show you that you can also do it this way because I'm sure you've seen many different ways being done on YouTube and it's basically just cutting patches and putting it in and making it look professional that's all it is and then pin it in place take it to your sewing machine and sew all the others and then come back and we here I'm showing you like as I sewed the um the seams right I did the inner seams first and then I turn it around to the other side right and then I kind of um before I do the second row of the stitches I turn it around and searched all the ends and you also kind of have to remove that flap that forms on the inside of the skirt. So you've got to cut that out and then serge that end together along with all the other ends and then do that top stitch, the second top stitch. And now to do the bottom hem hemming, the bottom panel, iron out all your other pieces that you have because you're going to use every single one of them depending on how long you want your panel to be. So just measure out a straight triangle. There's no big signs to this. It's very easy. Just a nice straight triangle as wide as you want it 
it as long as you want it and then uh, pin the edges and I, when I pin the edges and I sew them together I kind of do that double stitch like I did throughout my pants um, or my skirt to give it like that denim look right and then I search the ends and I just pin the bottoms right sides facing to the skirt from the outside of the skirt as you can see here and then took it to my sewing machine and did a plain stitch and then once I had done that stitch I did a double stitch like a top stitch you know so I kind of gave it like all around the skirt I had like this double stitch going on but yeah and that's a wrap I'm so so happy you guys I am so happy with how the skirt turned out like it looks so professional because the material of the pants itself is a good material right it is a bit loose I will show you how I take it in in the next video but in here I styled it with a belt so that it won't fall off my waist and just a plain t-shirt and you know some plain shoes and I don't know what you think but I think I might try adding another panel at the bottom or maybe even a third panel at the bottom with a different fabric altogether I don't know what do you think like should I make it longer should I make it shorter but anyways thank you so much for watching guys and if you did like this video hit the subscribe button and I will see you again next week take care of yourself love you and bye